Well, Max, I'm very excited to unveil today on this episode my top five Buster Posey cards in my card collection. So I'm gonna the rankings are gonna go from five to one. What I need you to do is pay attention and then rank them in your opinion as a more objective person in this situation, obviously, because you don't really more care. More objective and less biased. Yes, exactly. So I'm gonna start with number five, going down to number one. So number five is this 2010 flagship gold out of 2010 rookie. Uh, I got this, I believe, for like $125 a couple years ago. Um, relatively clean. I mean, I don't know, probably an eight or something or a seven. Cool card. Classic flagship gold. I think probably this year, the other best parallel would be like the vintage stock or the, well, obviously the black because it's 2010. So that's number five. Number four is this 2010 Buster orange Bowman paper out of 250. Uh, team color match, pretty cool. Also, generally just a cooler image than his flagship rookie, in my opinion. So that's number four. And I also got this classically on eBay as a mistitled gold parallel. They said Bowman gold parallel. So I snatched that up for like... 35 bucks, which was pretty sick. That's number four. Number three is this Buster Posey image variation, 2012 cable cable car image variation. Uh, one of the cooler Buster cards to most people. Uh, probably his most sought after image variation in terms of also print run. I know that there are some other ones that are extremely rare that people need badly to complete their career runs, but in general, I think this is considered his most cool, dank to dollar image variation. Max, have you ever owned one of these? I have not. No? You've never seen one of these out there? I've seen them, but I've never owned one. I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, well, number four, or number two, excuse me. It's going to probably surprise people, Max. I got to be real. This is the 2010 Topps Chrome Rookie Auto. 9, 5, 10 that Max sold me. Max, are you shocked that this is coming in at number two? A little bit. I'm a little shocked. No um, disrespect to you, Max. Rail for many Buster Posey card collectors and what a very significant rookie card in the first place. Yeah, I am a little surprised. But without further ado, Max, I did forget to do the number one. Number one being this 2011 Hope Diamond rookie cup out of 60 that I got in a trade with Old Man 28 guy, classic young old heads legend um max you can't really complain with the hope diamonds have you owned any of these in your life hope diamonds um not too many because they're harder to find than you'd think in a dollar box oh yeah they're definitely not ending up or in the value box, box or no anything way. like that i usually don't find my i think i've owned a Derek jeter hope diamond from 2011 tops that was like a 200 dollars card i think i did only 200 dollars. that's kind of surprising JK, it was the Diamond Anniversary PSA 10. Damn. Well, fuck. That sucks. That's the closest thing I've owned to a Hope Diamond. Um, I was thinking about this, and let me know if this is a hot take, in your opinion. Every year of Topps Flagship, the Black Parallel is my most desired parallel, except for 2011 Hope Diamonds. That's a good take. Um, are you ready for me to tell you um, a bad take? Yeah. Uh, yeah, your rankings suck. Um, can I give you my rankings of your cards? Yeah, you can, you can give me your rankings. Okay. Um, I believe you had this ranked appropriately at number five. Uh, the Bowman Gold Posey rookie card. Where do you have that? This was number five. The no, no, no. Okay, sorry. I'm correct then. I guess just the moments that I thought of the Bowman Gold rookie card, I just immediately cemented that as the bottom. That card's ugly. It's a bad catching pose. You see a it's lot of orange, orange card. It's it's orange. Though. Orange, gold, poop. It's poop colored. It's bronze. It's ugly. It's the boring Giants logo in the corner. It's this green and black border, which is just part of Bowman in general. Why? Yeah, you're putting it up to the screen. It's ugly. It's bad. It's the nor. It's the more modern, ugly gold that's seen in Topps flagship cards. Not a true gold that you think of precious metals and wealth. It's 
Because it's an orange parallel. It's an orange parallel. It's not yeah, a gold it's parallel. Ugly. I don't care what color. I don't care if it's orange shaded gold. I know it's an orange parallel. But it's an ugly card. So Fair rank enough. that number five. Uh, number four is uh, Hope Diamond. Because it's not a rookie card. It's cool. Uh, you're giving more love to it being a Hope Diamond than it is a significant Buster Posey card. And you have a bias towards rookie cups. It's not that cool. It's kind of cool. The short printing is nice, but at number four, I don't know how you could rank the Hope Diamond Rookie Cup over a true gold Buster Posey rookie card. I'll slot that at number three. Great photo, great picture. Looks more gold than the orange. Iconic parallel for an iconic card. We're locking it at three. Number two is the image variation short print. You already had that one queued up because you knew that I was going to say. Awesome card, rare, great image, has uniqueness to it. Not one you see every day. Not one that people even know about every day. Slot that one higher at two. Number one is is the autograph. It's not like he has 20 million autographs. It He has one aut rookie autograph. I think that's it. And so if you don't even understand, that card is way more significant than Buster Posey himself, which is ironically why I rated the Hope Diamond below at number five. But it's because it's Buster Posey's single hand best card. Well, I knew that was coming. Uh, I respect your opinions, Max. But, but you didn't you expect know, them the way that I hit them. You know that it's my collection. I do what I want. So it doesn't matter. But oh, I course. respect your opinion. I'm not telling you how to collect. I'm just telling you what colors look pretty and what cards don't. 